Welcome back to Come On In The Kitchen, aka Let's Get Cooking. I'm your host Rashida, and today I'm going to show you how to make some good old collard greens. Grab your apron, come on in the kitchen, and let's start cooking. First, I'm going to start off by taking a stem out the greens. I have a helper in the kitchen who is showing you how to take the stem out the greens before we roll, cut, and start to clean them. We want to take that big stem out because you really don't want to bite into that when you're eating your greens. To take the stem out, all I do is take the back of the collard green, fold it in half, pinch around the edges, and pull that stem out. That's it. Easy as one, two, three. Then I just lay them flat on top of each other until I move on to the next step of rolling them, then cutting them, and place, placing them in water. These were a great bunch of greens. They didn't hardly have any spots or blemishes. And they were full. This was a great bunch that I got from the farmer's market. So I'm looking forward to enjoying them because they already look great. So I believe they're going to taste great. Now my greens are ready for the next step. I'm just going to take them, roll them up, and then cut them into bite-sized strips. Now as I'm cutting, they're going right into the sink with some fresh water. And um, I'm going to soak them and clean them in the sink a couple of times. Then they're ready to go into the pot. So cleaning greens is essential. You want to make sure that you get all the little dirt, debris, little bugs. I found a ladybug actually as I was cleaning these greens in the water. There the greens are. They're getting a good rinse, good wash. Now, while they're soaking, it's time for me to go ahead and get my pot ready for them to go into. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get a large pot, place some water in there, and season it with some salt. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my um, turkey tails because I am prepping the water, which basically becomes the stock that the greens will go into. But you want to have your flavoring already set before you add your greens. So this is like what they call pot liquor. It is basically going to take on the flavor of the greens. The greens will take on the flavor of the seasonings and the meat that you prepare in the pot. So this is about a 30 minute process. I'm going to let these turkey tails cook to extract some of the flavor from the meat for about 30 minutes. So now I'm going to go ahead and make some quick, simple, easy baked chicken wings. I'm putting on my seasonings, some seasoning salt, garlic powder, uh, pepper, chicken seasoning. And I'm going to go ahead and bake these on 375 for 45 minutes to an hour till they're well done. And then take them out the oven, just easy as one, two, three. Now that my chicken wings are fully seasoned, I'm going to go ahead and spread them apart, give them a little room so they can, they can go in the oven and crisp up as they bake. Once again, I'm putting them in the oven at 375 for 45 minutes to an hour. And you're probably wondering why I didn't fold them because normally we fold the chicken wings and fry them or bake them. But I just really didn't feel like it. I just wanted to leave them out. Um, I thought they would cook more evenly and faster this way. So we're just taking on a new look just because I felt like it. All right, they're ready to go in the oven and easy as that, they'll be ready soon. All right, back to my green stock. Looking at it, you see how the liquid has reduced nicely, which means some of those flavors that come out the meat is starting to turn darker. So that's seasoning, y'all. That darkness that you see is now seasoning. Before I place the greens in the pot, you did see where I did add some extra seasoning, some extra flavor um, before I put the greens in. Now my stock is ready. I'm going to go ahead and put in my first batch of greens. 
I have about four batches coming from the sink that I cleaned. So the first batch, we just let that cook down a little. Add the second batch, do the same, stir it in. Add the third and then fourth batch so that it all will fit into the pot, no problem. It's just that you have to add it just in batches, about two or three minutes apart. And then you stir it. Now greens have a lot of water in them. So water is gonna come out the greens as they cook, which is gonna make more liquid. So toward the end, I'll drain some of that excess liquid. So there's another batch going in. They look so good and so fresh. Now I did, you might be looking like, are those just collards? I did decide to go ahead and add some mustard greens in mine this time. Sometimes I just do collards. But today I wanted to be a little fancy and do collars and mustards. That leads to my question for the day. What type of greens do you like? Do you like just collar? Do you like mix? Do you like mustard? Do you like turnip? Kale, what do you like to prepare or what do you like to eat? Go ahead and put that in the comments and I'll go ahead and read over them. Um, I do like kale, but by itself, not mixed with collars or anything. And I like mustard. I like collards, turnips, hmm, not so much, but um, those are some of my favorite greens. All right, I've gotten all my greens in the pot. As you see, I'm going ahead and just stirring those in and they have definitely wilted down. So that was going to be no problem. And they're going to cook for about a good hour. Now I'm going to get ready and add butter to my greens. I'm adding a half a stick of butter. Uh, most vegetables that I cook, I add some type of oil, butter, olive oil if I'm sauteing. But for these greens, I'm adding a half a stick of butter. And I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. Then I'm also adding in a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Probably about one tablespoon, two tablespoons. Some people like their greens with a heavy vinegar base. I don't. I like it light. So I'm going to add one to table one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I will add some more seasonings because there's a lot of water. There's a lot of greens in this pot, so it can take on some more seasonings. And after I add everything to the pot, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the top on and let them cook for, like I said, about 45 minutes to an hour, checking halfway through, giving them a good stir. If it becomes too much liquid, I do drain that, take some of that out because I don't like them to be watery. That makes your greens watery, takes away from the flavor and the taste of the greens. All right, there goes the pot and now it's time to cook. While the greens are still cooking, my chicken wings have finished. That's how they look just straight out the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and take them off that foil and place them on a rack. And there the wings are. They are crispy. You may, you may not be able to tell, but they are crispy. They're well done. So they'll be the perfect pair to go with the, these greens tonight. Now with the little camera magic, our greens are done. Look at that nice dark color. Those greens look great. They are great. The only thing I probably will do as I give them a stir for the last time is take out a little bit of the liquid. It's a little more than I desire, but otherwise our greens are fully cooked and they're ready to be eaten. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming into the kitchen. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Let me know how you prepare your greens. Those look good and I have to tell you, they taste great. All right, until next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming in the kitchen. I'll see you next time. Have a blessed day and a blessed week. Take care.